Hello there everybody and welcome to another TCG on the Game Boy Wi-Fi Duel against Honig. This time we are using a deck uh, with Arcanine and uh, Bonita the Arcanine promo. So yeah, it should be interesting. And uh, yeah, let's see what, uh, what Honig has in store for us. Prizes always have to be six. And yeah, it's been a while since we played the card game in general. Not just the Game Boy game, but the card game in general. I think I haven't played anything related to TCG ever since Scarlet and Violet dropped. But yeah, so there you go. I have two Magmars in my hand and uh, yeah, I'm gonna start with that. I'm gonna actually play first. Oh, the coin was nice to me. Oh my god. Anyways, uh, he has a Spiro and on the bench he has a Zapdos. That Zapdos can be dangerous, so I need to take down the Spiro as fast as I can. Because if the Zapdos powered up, it could be the end of me. <laughs> okay, so he's gonna get a fast damage. I needed two energy cards to start doing damage with Magmar. He's gonna peck and then I'm gonna fire punch for 30 damage. That's 2 KO on the Spiro. And now it's his turn and he's gonna attach and... Wow, a lightning energy to Zapdos and... I need to get rid of the Spiro as much as I can, so I can just... Yeah, but luckily for me, I had an energy removal. So that's gonna slow down the process of the Zapdos being OP, so... Yeah, another Fire Punch will take down the Spiro, and now in comes his Zapdos. With no energies for now, I believe he needs 4 to start attacking, and yeah, he has 0, so... I'm gonna play Bonita and Jigglypuff because I also have Wigglytuff on this deck. This deck also contains Wigglytuff with Doodoo Wave because everybody needs to do the wave. And yeah, Fire Punch, he will play his Magnemite and he will skip his turn because no energies at this point. I also have a Rapidash in my hand but I'm not gonna evolve the Bonita yet because I wanna make sure that I have the energies to start doing damage with it. Rapidash, man, it's been the MVP for way too many games, man. For way too many games. That thing is a threat in, in the first old school TCG, if you're lucky with the coin flips. But yeah, gonna play a second energy on my other Magmar on the bench. And uh, he already has two energies on his uh, Magnemite, and the next Fire Punch will take down his Zapdos, and we're actually gonna take our second prize, which will contain Bill. But yeah. Uh, since he already has two lightning energies, he will evolve his Magnemites. Play an energy retrieval. He will retrieve two lightning energies from his discard pile. He has three lightning energies now and he can go for Thunder Wave. Um, yeah, 30 damage will be enough to finish off our Magmar and that's his first prize. Now I'm gonna play my second Magmar. I also got a computer search and I'm gonna play Bill which allows me to play two cards. I got another Ponyta and another Rapidash, but I'm gonna play Computer Search because I don't need them and I actually need energies. So I'm gonna sacrifice Ponyta and Rapidash to get more fire energies and get them into my Ponyta that is in the bench. And I'm gonna play another one and get rid of the Magmar and the other Computer Search for another fire energy because, again, I was really lacking fire energies. And, uh, yeah, so... 30 damage with the Fire Punch, and now it's his turn, he's gonna play his Professor Oak. Uh, get a new hand, place another Magnemite, and place another Spiro. so let's see what's gonna happen. Uh, luckily for me, the Thunder Wave isn't gonna paralyze me this time, so it's gonna allow me to take down his uh, Magneton next turn, play another Fire Energy on the Ponita, and evolve it! Play Bill, got two energies with Fire, I mean Fire Energies, and yeah. Rapidash is ready, I can just, if my Magmar goes down, I can just, uh, you know, have my Rapidash ready to, to fight, so, yeah. Uh, he's gonna evolve another Magnemite into Magneton, place a Lightning Energy into it, and now he has his Spiro into play, my Rapidash is actually ready, and uh, I'm also gonna play my Growlithe, because I also have Arcanine, which is ready, I love this card by the way, the promo Arcanine. It's probably better than the base set Arcanine, when it comes to art, of course, and I think when it comes to damage as well. But yeah, uh, gonna go for another Fire Punch, uh, he has a Magnemite, I mean a Magneton that is being a threat over there. He has an Energy Removal that he is gonna play on my Rapidash, but I believe I still have a Fire Energy on my hand, so it's not a big deal, I believe. 
He's gonna play another energy retrieval, gets two lightning energies that can help him with his uh, magneton, and then he will play Professor Oak once again. But yeah, interesting. Interesting duels with interesting Pokemon choices. I also see that he has a Farfetch'd and another Magnemite and another Spearow, so that's gonna be interesting. So anyways, uh, I believe I will uh, play the Fire Energy that I have on my hand on my uh, Rapidash. I was checking and thinking about the Arcanine. I was really thinking about it, like how we can actually play it, but I decided just to play it for now and then see how it goes. But anyways, Fire Punch will finish off the Spearow. I will finally, uh, yeah, get another prize and now his Threat Magneton is finally in play. Uh, Thunder Wave at that range will finish me off. He will get his second prize. And uh, it's time for Rapidash. If Rapidash gets heads, yeah, that means, you know, he won't be receiving any sort of attack. So there's the agility. Are we gonna be lucky? We are not. Unlike other videos, unlike our other duels, yeah. So anyways, let's hope, let's pray that he's not gonna get the paralysis thunder wave, but no, this time, unfortunately, Rapidash will get paralyzed, so we won't be able to do anything this uh, this turn. I will play another Growlithe, and I will start preparing my Wigglytuff. Uh, I need I need some energies for my Wigglytuff, unfortunately, but yeah. Uh, it's his turn, I'm cured from paralysis, hopefully he doesn't paralyze us again. If he paralyzes us again, that means we are screwed, but... Let's see how it goes. This is very close at this point, even though the prizes number doesn't seem like it. But he will make a mistake. He thought that Zapdos already had four uh, energies, but... Mm -mm -mm. And the card that I'm gonna draw is the double colorless, which is gonna save us. That means Wigglytuff only needs one. Just one. To get the... Do the wave, but... Yeah, unfortunately, it's not heads again for Rapidash, so... Yeah, uh, Zapdos will damage himself for 30, our Rapidash will go down, he will get a prize, and luckily for us, I do get the fire energy, and that's what, that's what Willing Tough needed, and our bench is full, so that means 40 damage, do the wave, will do 40 damage, Wiggly Tough taking down the Zapdos, showing us who is the real legend, Wiggly Tough, showing us the toughness, and uh, he will play his uh, Farfetch'd, he will attach a uh, lightning energy, leak slap. Apparently, this attack only used uh, it's only used once. You can't use it again, but you need to get heads first. But yeah, I'm gonna fill up my bench, and due to me filling up my bench, my do the wave will do 60 damage, and that's gonna be the game. So, wow, interesting, interesting duo for sure. Hope you guys enjoyed. GG Honig, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a wonderful day, and allons-y.